John the Eighth. John the Eighth was the second to the last emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire. He was the oldest son of Manuel II and Empress Helena and had nine other siblings. Two of his most notable siblings were Constantine and Thomas, who were both despotates of the province of Morea. John was crowned sole emperor on July 21st, 1425, after the death of his father, Manuel II, but he pretty much was running the empire since 1421 due to his father's advanced age and a stroke that he suffered, which would eventually end his life. John supervised the Ottoman siege of Constantinople in 1422 AD and was in charge of the city's defenses. It was a major task considering the Eastern Romans' lack of manpower. Despite the Turkish siege machines and cannons, the defenders were victorious due to Muhammad II having to withdraw because of his brother Mustafa trying to claim the throne in his absence. The defenders, however, believed that the Divine Mother played a role in the Romans' victory. John, like his father, made two journeys west to seek aid from Rome in 1423 and as emperor in 1439. In 1439, he met with Pope Eugene IV, where they discussed the union of the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches, which split apart due to the Great Schism of 1054. John, along with the Pope, attended the Council of Florence, Ferrara, and Basso. One of the topics they tackled was the reunion of the churches and the threat of the Ottoman Turks. John brought with him over 700 followers to the council, including the Patriarch of Constantinople, Joseph II, who was also the proponent of the union. But the elderly holy man died during his visit, right after he drew up and signed the pro-union declaration before the council. John left the council with a temporary union between the churches and hope for military aid for his empire and a future crusade against the Turks to save Constantinople. But he needed all of the Eastern Orthodox bishops to sign Joseph II's Declaration of Union in order to be official. The news received a mixed reaction in the Eastern Roman Empire. John, along with his new Patriarch of Constantinople, Metrophanes II managed to convince or force all of the bishops to sign the document except one. Mark of Ephesus, the lone bishop who refused to go along with the union of the churches and view the Roman Catholic Church as a bunch of heretics. Mark himself was declared a heretic in Rome. John, however, was having problems in the bedroom because he was childless after three marriages and if he died, there would be a severe secession crisis. His first wife, Anna of Moscow, died in 1417 of the bubonic plague after three years of marriage. He was married to his second wife, Sophia of Montferrat, from 1421 to 1426. Their relationship was an unhappy one. John wasn't attracted to her and avoided Sophia whenever possible. She fled Constantinople in August of 1426 and returned to northern Italy. In September of 1427, John married Maria of Trebizond. She was a renowned beauty who the emperor instantly fell in love with. The couple was married for 12 years, but they did not have any children. Empress Maria died on December 17, 1439, at the age of 35 from the bubonic plague while he was on a trip in Italy. The heartbroken emperor never remarried. During the last years of his life, John watched his emperor slowly shrink even further, along with the failure of the reunion of the churches added to his woes. Left childless, he arranged to have his brother Constantine to become his regent in 1437 and designated him as his successor. John died on October 31st, 1448 AD at the age of 55. He would be the last official Eastern Roman Emperor to die from natural causes. Constantine would be crowned Emperor on January 6, 1449 AD. John's death created a brief succession crisis due to his other brother, Demetrius trying to claim the crown for himself. The Empress Dowager, Helena, made sure Constantine would be the next ruler and oversaw his coronation in Morea. Ottoman Sultan Muhammad II was notified of the regime change and accepted Constantine as the official emperor of Constantinople, but the relationship between the two would only last until his death on February 3, 1451 AD. Muhammad was succeeded by his ambitious young son, Mehmed II, whose reign as sultan would be the beginning of the end 
for the Eastern Roman Empire. Thanks for watching another episode of the Byzantine History of the Eastern Roman Empire. My name is Joseph Ulibas, and I hope to see you soon. And if you enjoyed this series, please subscribe to this channel.